Alright, now I'm going to get into the good stuff of this H100i V2 water cooler. Um, if you didn't know, it is for both Intel and AMD processors. Uh, this machine is an AMD. It's got a 6300 in it, and um, at idle it runs about, at about 9 degrees Celsius, which is really good. Uh, it used to run much hotter. It's not even overclocked. Uh, I haven't overclocked this processor yet, but I do plan to. Uh, that's the main reason, usually, if you get a water cooler, is if you do plan on overclocking. Um, this is probably a little bit overkill for this machine here. If I, uh, But if I ever did plan on overclocking it a ton, then it would be necessary. Uh, one of the things I'm sure you could uh, point out for yourself is that it's not in the case. It is very big. It's a very large water cooler. Um, they do sell the single ones, the 120 mil. This is a 240 millimeter. I guess two, two 120 fans. And it's pretty big, so my first intention was to actually fit it on top, but that wasn't going to happen. And uh, Because usually that's what people do. If they have space, I didn't have space for that. Um, also, I've seen people, they put them up in this front area here. And that's that's probably actually one of the best spots because then your 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 hoses these kind of go up and you know their their full length is used. This these are a little too tight than what I usually want to make them. I mean they're you can see they're kind of kinked, but okay I guess I had to do what I had to do here because I got all these drive bays here. Okay now that I got a little bit of a better shot so you guys can see what I'm actually talking about here. Um, yeah so you got your power. Your power cable comes out of the bottom here, and that just plugs right into your motherboard where your normal CPU fan would go. This is the same, uh, it's actually a three pin, I want to say. And the, the one on here was a four pin, but it, it just wor it works, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and then you also have a USB cable that comes out, and that, that's, um, that's for the link. So that's actually, it's a, a mini USB, I think, I'm not sure the exact type of USB it is, but it's I think it's a mini. comes all the way down, and on this motherboard, the USB 2.0s are down on the bottom here. And I'll talk more about that link later, because I actually had some issues with link. Um, it, it, it really slowed the computer down for some reason. It was using a lot of disk disks, um, usage, really. And it just really made the computer slow, so I had to get rid of it. And I currently do not use link with it, and it does work good. Um, so I don't know what the deal is with the link there. As I said, you know, it does have both mounting brackets for both AMD or Intel. So, you know, it works for pretty much everyone. Um, it's got, it's got very nice, a very, really easy, intuitive way of hooking it up. Um, uh, I, I bet anybody could do it. You know, the instructions cover it very well. Uh, this hosing is really good too. That's one of the things I actually really liked. It's, it's, it's kind of like this braided, you know, f fiber, I guess, is what it is. And I'm sure there's probably plastic hosing on the inside, but it's really nice. I really like that. It's quite bendable and uh, easy to work with. Okay, so here I've been running Prime 95 for just about 15 minutes, uh, maybe less, a little less. And uh, over here i got my temperatures. And uh, as you can see, my highest has been 22, 22 Celsius, and my current is 21. My lowest is nine, which is was you know when it was at the idle, idle temperature, and it's been staying pretty close to 22, 22, 21. Sometimes going back and forth. Um, so you know, I guess that's about how cool you should expect it to be. Uh, for a 6300, but every processor is going to vary. As you can see, the unit's pretty big, as I was saying. It takes up, it's about half of the top of my computer. I'd say more. I'd say about three quarter, three quarters of it. Uh, but, you know, I guess for, for the size it is, you know, it's a large radiator, so it really cools, cools your CPU down really good. The only issue with this, this uh, here water cooler, is the Link software? Um, if Corsair did, set, you know, push out a firmware update for that, so it's not using the hard drive a lot, and pretty much it just completely bogged down my machine. Um, 
I wouldn't recommend using the link until they fix that. I don't know if they plan on fixing it. So, uh, unfortunately, I can't give you that information. But, for the unit itself, and for what it does, it works fantastic. Um, again, it's the Corsair H100i Mach 2. Um, and it ab absolutely works great. So, if you're looking to get a water cooler, you're looking to overclock, whatever you want to do, if you just like your computer being nice and cool, definitely, definitely a good choice. If you have any questions about it, feel free to send me a message or uh, leave a comment in the section below, and I will definitely uh, respond to that. And uh, hopefully I know an answer for that question. Thank you for watching as always, and there's more to come.